That's a better one. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so look at this. We got this new line from Striking. Big shout out to them. They sent it out to me. It's got a little suction cup on the bottom of it. Boom. You can press it on the boat. And literally, as you guys can tell right there, spool your rod and reel without having the whole thing in line just going everywhere. You know, having somebody hold the, the spool of line. You don't need that. Just suction cup, stick it right to the side of the boat. You can literally re-spool it all your rods. Super convenient. I'll show you guys here in a second. So look how convenient that is. Is that not crazy? That's smart, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm excited Striking came out with this because I have yet to see anybody do this and it definitely solves the problem. Like, I'd much rather stick that on the side of my boat with a little suction cup. Not have to worry about anybody with me and just be able to re-spool stuff like that. It's so quick and easy. So the reason we were spooling up the braid today is because I have a couple top water lures. We have the pad perch. You guys already know the pop and pickle, the pop and perch was the juice. You guys know I caught so many fish on this. It's the same color, but this one's called a pad perch. It's not popping. It's just like shaped like a normal frog in the front. So we're gonna try that out today. And then we also have this little tiny popper, a striking. A um, little natural color, it's got a little bit of green on top and pearl and white on the bottom, which is gonna be good today because you got clouds up. If it was sunnier, I'd rather use something that's more translucent on the bottom, a little bit of chrome, but with these clouds up today, I'm thinking that right there, with that white bottom or bone color. We're gonna go ahead and tie these up on these rods. Just pulled both of these up. These are brand new Mach 2 combos. Um, this one we have 65 pound braid on, the other one we have 50 pound braid. This is a heavy action, which we're gonna put the frog on. And then this one right here, it's a little bit lighter, but we're gonna put this little popper on. Boom, got the popper tied on. If you guys are wondering what knot I use, just a standard uni knot, clean and simple, just like everything else. That's our first combo, first top order combo today. A little popper. I'm, I really think that this is gonna get much today. But this is actually our first time fishing top water this year too. So it's gonna be interesting. I'm just hoping we catch them on it today. If they're not buying the top water, I mean, we're gonna switch up to some moving baits, you know, maybe a spinner bait, um, even a bottom bait, like a little Texas rig with a crawl on it. You know, if we have to adjust today, we're gonna adjust, you know, that's fishing. But we're gonna throw these top waters a lot today. Cover a lot of water. This is that pad perch. Just like the pop and pickle with that skirt, just doesn't have a pop head. I'm so pumped about this. My favorite type of fishing has to be frog fishing too. So I'm just hoping we get on them today with it. At least if we don't get them on the frog, that hopefully we get them on the popper. I just want some sort of top water action today. There's a lot of big fish where we're at. So we might have a good opportunity. All right, we all rigged up. Time to make it happen. Just took the straps off and take the front motor strap off, get Cody to back us in, get in the river. And it's time to make it happen today. We gotta get some top water fish. Have to make it happen. I have high hope. Alrighty guys, we just made it to our first spot. We're gonna go ahead and get it started. I think I'm gonna start off with this popper. Just cast around under some of these willow trees up shallow and see if we can get something to come up for this thing.
nice, too. Dude, that was the softest top water bite. Softest little top water bite. We already started off. We haven't been fishing for a while. Just got out here. I mean, we've probably been fishing for five minutes. That sucker just came up and slurped it down. Wasn't an aggressive hit. I got our first fish on the popper today. Little tiny bass. Not big, but hey, you got to start somewhere. And I know that we caught, I believe that's our first, this is our first topwater fish of the year. That's right there on a popper. Got to love it. Not big, but our first one today. First topwater fish of 2021. Let's get it. Yeah, dude, he just came up and just sucked it down. And just, that was weird. Dude, I, I just, it's taking me a second to get used to it. This bank, dude, you can't tell me there's not one bedding up there. I was having a feeling one's gonna destroy it, dude. Like, just straight, like, like scare us. He hits it so good. Oh, dude, that was so cool. Let's go. Oh, it's a better bass. Oh, it's a crappie. Dude, that's a huge crappie. Oh my gosh, look at that. Not not too much longer after that last one. This one is this crappie right here is bigger than that bass. Look at how he ate that popper. Oh my gosh, man. He had a better blow off than the bass. He, he's a bigger fish than the bass. That that is crazy. It's a slab right there. Oh man. Catching crappie on top water today. Never would have thought that's what we would have been catching, man. Look at that pretty fish. You just gotta love it. We just got out here. Haven't been out here for more than 10 minutes and already caught two fish. Man, it's so our first topwater strikes of the year. So this is just an exciting video to me. I just love fishing topwater. And uh, man, that's awesome. Multi-species video. Got us a bass and we got us a crappie. Thank you for biting, buddy. <laughs> man, he was an aggressive little guy. Let's go, Cody. Let's get it. I just can't believe how hard that crappie hit it, dude. That <laughs> that thing destroyed it. I thought it was like a one and a half pound bass. Like I didn't think it was a crappie. Dude, I really think we're gonna have one one or two opportunities for like just a tank, dude. That is the smallest bass I could have ever caught. <laughs> Literally threw it up on the bank and he just destroyed it right away. I will tell you guys, these fish right here, when you're messing with trebles, I don't like to play with them um, personally because you can't, you can't control that. You don't want that hook in your hand. So usually I just get one of the trebles off, get him to where he's unhung, shake him right off. Last thing you guys want is get trebles in your hands. The first time I got a treble in my hand was with a jerk bait with a fish about that small. It'll get you, but that bait hit the water. He just bloop, drove right over it. Just got to find these big ones. Holy cow, that was a freaking chunk. Oh my God. I can't get the cask. Okay. Oh, come on. 
Dude, that was a big one. I just cannot get that cast. It's like this thing, I just cannot get my bait in the right spot with this combo. That was, I bet that was him, dude. That was a freaking tank. Oh, that was a tank. I know what to do. I got him. No. Look at the gator on the bank. How do we not see that, bro? <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh no. That's a freaking huge gator. That's a better one. No, it's not. Uh, it's the biggest one today. You a fat guy. Look at that thick old boy. Boom. Fat girl. So this is actually the first time that I've gone this far up river. And we literally just pulled up in this spot. What was it, Cody? Maybe third cast? Yeah. Like third. Oh! Calm down. You just hooked yourself again. Oh my gosh. And we caught that guy. Not big, but he is a little fat dude on the top water. He that was our best top water bite today. Like successful catch. We haven't caught anything big yet, but it's just fun, you know, getting outside, getting on the river, enjoying nature out here, and catching these bass on top water. Oh, they always try to mess me up somehow. All right, let's get back in there, man. Let's see if we can catch another one in a couple casts. I don't know what that is. It's a huge pike or mudfish. Dude, that's a huge mud. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get him to come off. Nice. Had to get Cody to help me. That was a big boy. Oh my gosh. Slam the top water. Dang mudfish. I thought I had me a giant finally. Dude, that fish looks so long. I couldn't tell if it was like a big like pickerel, like a huge pickerel. Or if it was just like a big mud. And of course it was a big mud. At least we got the lure back. I don't know how we get in all these places. I have all the bites right at the front and then nothing. Uh, I just feel like really we're not throwing the right bait, but it's just the right place, the right time deal. Like right here is money. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. That was a big one, dude. They're just missing it, bro. I think we've had two big bites today and they're just not. Yeah. Oh, if I probably would've thrown this worm in there right after, he probably would've ate it. But that boil was no, that was no little fish, dude.
Oh, yes. It's not the one that I think blew up on the top water, but that's a dang good one. God, dog. I hope the camera can tell how fat that bass is. That's a freaking two and a half pounder in a one pound body. Oh my gosh. Is that a freaking chunk? Wow. Finally getting on some better fish right here. It's had a massive boil on that top water, like huge. I don't think it was this fish. It could be on bed up there and this could be the male. That is such a fat dude right there. Got a fat belly right there. Threw a floating worm right after that. And, and look how fat that fish is. Sometimes it's hard to tell on camera, but that's a fat bass. Thank you for biting, bro. God, that's a stud. <laughs> that's such a fat one. Of course, my first bite is the one time I'm like fixing my line. Ah. Look at your time like right over here. So we just came into a lake that we haven't been here before. Um, water is super dirty. The water temperature is actually higher than any of the other lakes we've been in today. Fished the whole thing with the top water, not really any bites, had one at the end um, that ate me when I was trying to fix my line. But what we're gonna do is start idling towards the front of this place, start casting around um, and see if we can get one up here. We've just thrown this top water a lot today. We're not going for many bites. We've caught small fish on it, but we're going for that big one, and I'm just hoping we have this opportunity. One opportunity, that's all I'm asking for, for us to catch a really big one. This looks really good over here. Let's see what we can do. So you guys know we came out here pretty much trying to throw top waters all day like top waters only didn't really pick up any other bait but we have just a little bit of daylight left and i really want to catch some fish for y'all i have thrown so many casts of that top water and i just really want to get a video and get some fish in here so i just rigged up a little texas rig sanko and uh, we're back in this little cut probably have about 10 minutes of fishing left let's see if we can make it happen whoa dude what oh my gosh look at that crappie oh my gosh this is the darkest crappie i've ever caught dude that's crazy we have been catching some crazy fish today that's the good thing about the river man you guys never know what you're gonna catch and look at that slab of a crappie right there wow it's our second one today. This one's really dark. It's like a bunch of black marks on them. Knew something was biting me there. I was like, man, I keep missing them. There we go. Little old bass. Not a bad one, really. Not a bad fish at all. Right there on that rage curl. Caught that crappie on the Sanko and then switched up to a rage curl. Got us a nice bass, man. I can only imagine how many fish we would catch today if we weren't chucking around that top water for hours, but we stayed dedicated until this last little bit here. Nice fish. We're gonna keep on going. Got a couple more minutes of daylight.
Oh my god. Get your butt up in here, Bo. Nice fish right there. Look at that one. <laughs> Just started pulling on my rod. I'm not going to lie, Cody. I thought you were messing with me. I thought like you hit my rod, and I was like, nah. I turned around. I saw you were sitting down. So fat, man. What a way to end off today's video with a fish like that. Thick and chunky, boy. Guys, we made it back in the car. Wow, what a long day on the water. We tried, we attempted the top water only fishing challenge today. We caught some fish, caught some crappie, caught a huge mudfish on the top water. Caught a good couple bass and um, ended off the day catching a few on a Texas rig just because I really wanted to show you guys some fish. I didn't want to end the video off on that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The top water bite's only gonna get better from here. This is our first ever top water, or first top water video of 2021, so that's exciting. But man, did we make a lot of casts out there. I mean, I casted so much today and just only had a handful of bites on the top. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. We got some more banging videos coming soon. Thank you guys so much for the support. Peace.